All right, so a lot of gurus are showing you random scripts, how to set appointments in the DMs, and all of this other stuff with appointment setting in 2024. Everything though in sales comes down to your discovery and how deep you go with prospects. So if you're new here, my name is Kiko McCauley, and in this video, you'll see me do a live appointment setting call review with a student inside of our modern SDR program and break down exactly how you can get started with appointment setting for beginners here in 2024. This video focuses primarily on discovery, as if you master that, it will help you win a whole lot faster with sales. Now, if you do find this helpful and you want more insight into our sales training on a much more in-depth level, just feel free to tap on the calendar link below and book in a call with one of my head advisors. They'll be able to help you and best advise you on your journey for getting into sales. And if it makes sense, work with you a little bit more closely. Now, if that's not something you're ready for, we also have both a three-day live event coming up soon as well as a $1 course to help you get started with sales. And links for both of those will be down below. So without further ado, let's hop in and I'll see you guys in the training. Hi, Alex. How are you? Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. I'm good. Thanks. Great, great. Um, so Alex, I just want to say thank you for your time filling out the form and just being interested in modern SDR. Uh, I see here that you're based in Australia. So that's great. Uh, whereabouts in Australia are you located? Right. So right here, it's it's pretty friendly. It's a good intro. And this is going to be a little bit different, right, than our outbound dollar crash course. So let's say that I'm Sophia and I was calling Alex. I'd probably just start the, the call being like, hey, hey, is this Alex? Hey, Alex, this is just Sophia here. I was calling because you inquired for some more info about XYZ product, you know, that you saw over from XYZ. Does that, does that ring a bell? Cool, Alex. I mean, what really drove you to want to get more information? Now, this call is going to be different, right? Because Sophia most likely had some sort of application from Alex, right? So Alex said that from Australia doing X, Y, Z, right? So she has context already. So that's why it's starting off the call like this is, is solid, right? Um, I think we can probably jump in a little bit faster, right? But, but I think overall, I mean, it's good so far, right? Um, I'm in Queensland at the top. Nice. And how is, what time is it there right now? Uh, right now it's 6 a.m. Okay, so it's pretty early. So you're an early bird, right? Yes. <laughs> That's nice. Great. Um, so Alex, just to confirm, um, you work here at a supermarket. Um, what did you expect in the supermarket? So right there, right? So we have info that they're at the supermarket, right? So this is, this is solid, right? Because we're going to kind of start more with um the the current situation right so right here right once again if i'm on an outbound call it's going to be a little bit different right i'd probably ask you hey what what even inspired you to want more info but in this case we're kind of starting from the current situation right and that's going to start with pain as well right so it, most likely the flow will be like cool you're, you're working in the supermarket job How, how's that going for you gotcha I, I guess are you working long hours what does that look like Oh, are you enjoying it? Oh, you're not? Why is that? Right? So that's probably the flow I would use for someone um, in that particular position, right? Um, I, um, yeah. I'm just the chick out chick. Okay. So I'm just and, and do you like working there? How long have you been? Right. Okay. And, and do you like working there? Right. So we're delving deeper. So most likely, right, we're going to want to go one or two steps deeper after this question. Working here. Um, I've been doing that for two years and the money's all right, but it's not what I want to do. I see. Um, I, I see. So what we're going to do, so thank you for the information, sorry. Um, so what we're going to do is to know more about your financial. So right here, right, really good start. And then we try to go a little bit back into frame, right? So now we're like, gotcha, that's really cool, right? Now what we're going to do is X, Y, Z. So this kind of throws off, right, the conversation a little bit. Right here, I probably would have gone deeper on what she just said, right? So let's let's go back on this. What I want to do. I see. Working there, how long have you been working here? Um, I've been doing We ask, how long have, have we been working there? Doing that for two years. And the money's all right, but it's not what I want to do. I see. So right here, she says the money is all right, but it's not what I want it to do. 
So drop in the chat what, what you guys think could have been a more effective question after this, right? Just drop a question or drop that in the chat and we can try to have this a dialogue, right? So I'll give us a few minutes. I'll play this one more time, but we can see what we think could have been a stronger question, right? I think this is still a great way that we did it, Sophia. So, and once again, thank you for sharing this, but let me know what you guys think. Yeah, Christian, right, right there. Not something you would want to do. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Exactly that, Christian. And do you like working there? How long have you been working here? Um, I've been doing that for two years and the money's all right, but it's not what I want to do. I see. Um, I, I see. So what we're going to do, um, so thank you for the information, sorry. Um, so what we're going to do is to know more about your... Right. Because we already like pre-frame the call. So like if you did this part at the beginning, I think that would still work. But as Christian Agnes said, yeah, not something you want to do. Could you elaborate a bit more? Oh, and what would you like to be doing? What would you want to do actually? Right. Felix said, so what are you interested in? I think that might be a little broad. I think, I think when we say like, yeah, what does all right mean to you? What do you mean? Like that's going to be stronger. Your financial expectations and how the modern CR is going to, to solve or help you achieve uh, that financial goal that you have and to see if you're qualified or not for Because right, like, at the end of the day, and, and hopefully this is, hopefully this makes sense here, but like at the end of the day, any prospect, like they're not buying a program, right? Any prospect isn't buying a program. They're buying the result, right? So in order to understand what result they want, we need to get deeper on, okay, what would you like to be doing? Oh, you'd want to travel more? Got it. I mean, is that something that you're you're not able to do right now? What does that kind of look like, right? Yeah. Yeah, and and once again, um, yeah, I'm running these webinar style guys just because um, if we have everyone, I'm like super ADD and like it's really hard to like coach when there's like a ton of people. So um, yeah, I think we, we, we invited like, you know, 600 to like a thousand people today to this. So um that that's why where it's like this so hopefully that's okay but does that make sense to everyone cool perfect okay and the next step from that how does that sound yeah this sounds good well, all right it might take just 10 to 15 minutes so i'll i'll try to make it pretty quick as possible um for you because it's priority for you <laughs> all right um so you said you work in your supermarket um the takeout and how long have you been working there pretty much because right here, we just went deeper on it like before, right? And and once again, she, she also said that we've been working there for two years, right? So if we understand that, then it's going to be such a smoother transition into like the, the rest of the call. Because then we have a bunch of filler right here, right? That we can take out. Uh, two years. Two years. So just right after the pandemic. And how's that thing going for you? Um, It was a little weird after COVID, I guess. But it was the only way to make money. Uh, yeah, I imagine with all the measurements and everything with COVID and yeah, making distance with people. Yeah, imagine how that can be tough. And how was the schedule um, at the, during, after COVID? Do you have to work long? So we asked, how is the schedule, right? And then we asked, did you have to work long hours? Long too. So what what I think could be stronger, and, and this is a big note that uh, if you guys haven't kind of seen this from like the other coaching calls and stuff, but a big note is asking open-ended questions would give you so much more pain and so much more, um, just, just get everyone to open up more. So instead of asking, gotcha, I guess, were you working long hours there? That's a yes or no question. Instead, if I asked, gotcha, I mean, how did that job really turn out for you after the pandemic? Right. And, and I could even go off what she said. I, I, I forgot what Alex said here with all the measurements and everything with COVID and yeah, making distance with people. Yeah, imagine how that can be tough. And how was the schedule? Um, at the it's a little weird after COVID. Right here, she says it was a little weird. A little weird, I mean, how so? Gotcha, why, why is that? I guess, 
but it was the only way to make money. The the only way to make money, right? So I, I, I would have one of two questions here. It was a little weird after COVID. What, why is that? See that, see how that's open-ended? Or I would ask, um, fuck, I forgot what she said. Um, it was a little weird after COVID, I guess. But it was the only way to make money. It was the only way to make money? What do you mean by that? So do we see that questioning how that opens up so much more, right, from her? Then how is the schedule like, right? Like, do we see, because then we're asking, like, why did this happen to you as a human rather than, hey, what's the schedule like, right? And that's going to hit so much harder and just actually allow you to, like, fully understand her and the situation. Does that make sense, Sophia? Um, still, I mean, really good questions, right? I, I mean, we're, we're getting into it. Um, but, but I think that's going to help you give a lot stronger. And once again, thanks for allowing us to go through this. This is super helpful. So let's skip. Um, I kind of am at a point where I want to make a change and do something different, grow my income. Um, what difference, what kind of difference would you like to change to make? That's good. Right. What kind of difference? Um, I want more financial freedom. And do everything. It. Pardon? You know, more financial freedom to travel and save extra. That's nice. I mean, who would like to um, travel? <laughs> uh, where would we like to travel? Yeah. That's good, right? We're, we're asking, where do you want to travel? I, I think if we went harder on, you know, gotcha. I mean, financial freedom, like everyone wants that. That's that's great. I mean, where do you want to travel? Gotcha. And you said you want to save more? I I mean, what would that really unlock for you? Right. So we we are going down that path, which is awesome here. Right. We're we're getting her to open up more. So now we're going into desired situation. Right. So remember, every sale only happens if there's a gap. We're going super to desired situation here. And then we also have our starting situation where we're at. Right. So we're taking her really far here with the questions. And then we have to bring it back to, okay, gotcha, Alex. I mean, all this stuff's great, but like, I guess what's holding you back from being able to do this right now, right? What's be, what's holding you back from being able to do this right now? Oh, why is that, right? So then that's gonna build us the before situation right here, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Cool. Sweet. Awesome, y'all. That is great. Um, cool, cool, cool. And for those of you too, um, who are new, I know we had a lot of people coming in. Um, we are going to be going into more things like this on the three day live event. Um, you know, normally these calls We'll, we'll probably just start ripping just for modern SCR students. Um, but also here, if you guys want to be there live with me on the three-day live event, we are um, going to be going through that. And then I'll also give you guys more of a sneak peek into the modern SCR as well, if you're not already in that program. Um, but yeah, let's hop back in and um, go from there. Cool. Uh, any specific uh, destinations? Yeah, South America, Colombia. <laughs> nice. I'm actually... Um, in Colombia, so you're more than welcome to come here. Oh wow! Yeah, yes, <laughs> that'd be great. And what else? you said traveling and as well, um, take more. You mentioned. Yeah, so that's good. Right now, we're going back into it. Make more. You mentioned. Yeah, I'd like to save more for my future. Yeah. And why is that important? Good question. Why is that important? That's awesome. Like that flow there. If we cut out the fluff and we just go straight into that, right? Like because we had some fluff from like one thirty to like two fifty right? As a prospect, I might lose interest kind of at that point. But if we just keep minute like three to like here, right? That's gonna be so strong. Um, yeah, so I can think about having kids and stuff without the financial stress. Okay. And at this time, do you have a partner where you have mentioned them that or it is thinking as a long term project? Um, um, partner. And what does they do? For, what do they do for a living? Sorry? What do they do for a living, their partner? Um, he works on a farm. 
That's good, right? Now we're going to partner, right? So we remember the seven core beliefs, right? Support is going to be one of them. Nice. You have a family. What does that look like? Are they supportive? And right here, right? Because she mentions, because Alex mentions the, um, the, the partner on the farm, I might dive into, gotcha, are they supportive of you? Cool. Do they know you're looking into something in the online space? Cool. I mean, are, do, do you feel like they, they'd want you to get out of XYZ into XYZ goals? Right. Okay. And do you think that he would be supportive? Um, cool. like Sophia, that's fucking awesome. That was good. Right. Join a program like Modern SDR. So right here, um, I would say more supportive of you getting to your goals. Like we probably don't even want to mention modern SDR or, or like if you're selling like a, you know, health product or, you know, fitness product or, you know, other like real estate products, for example, it doesn't really matter what you're selling. But in this case, I'd probably just be like, cool. I mean, is your, is your, um, you know, partner supportive of you making more money than the grocery job? Cool. I mean, that's great. Have you told them about this? So does that slight difference there make sense? Yeah, I think if it was um a safe, genuine program, he would be supportive. Okay, that's great. Um, that sounds really good. And now she says genuine program, right? What objection might she be bringing up here? Let me know in the chat what objection you guys think she Alex might be bringing up here. Yeah, I think if it was um a safe, genuine program, he would be supportive. Okay, that's great. Um, that sounds really good. And would he be supportive for you if you want to go now and leave there? supermarket jobs that you have to help in that in that yeah yeah so christian says scam yeah exactly so i'd probably address this first because if you run into that and you book the call for the closer that's going to be harder for them to handle right SDR? yeah i think if it was um a safe genuine program he would be supportive a genuine program what do you mean by that okay that's great cool karen says scam caitlin says scam um, that sounds really good. Do you talk about other programs if you get that answer? So, okay, Christian asks, do you get, yeah, exactly. John's saying people like to Google everything when it comes to trust. Yeah, so let's let's run through this part again. Do you think that he would be supportive uh, with you if you join a program like Modern SDR? Yeah, I think if it was um a safe, genuine program, he would be supportive. Okay, that's great. Um, that sounds really good. And yes, yeah, so I would have said, "Gotcha." Um, genuine program. What do you mean by that? Then she's probably gonna say, "So, like, let's say I asked that." Alex would probably say, "Yeah, I've looked into some other programs, but they seem scammy." Got it. I mean, what 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 made them seem like a scam? Yeah, they didn't have a community, or they didn't have X Y Z. Doesn't really matter what she says, but whatever she says, you tailor the pitch to that. So if she's like, they they didn't have a community or, you know, I paid money, I got ghosted, right? Gotcha. I mean, do you feel like that would happen here or got it? I mean, from what you've seen, do you feel like this would be similar? Then the prospect's going to pitch back to you why they don't want to go with the other programs, right? So to answer Christian's question, that's exactly it. Yeah, that's that's exactly correct, Christian. Would he be supportive for you if you want to join now and leave the supermarket job that you have? To help in that in that transition, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I have to talk to him about it, but it all depends on how quickly I can start earning in the program. Okay. Well, um, that's actually from your effort and commitment that you may have that you will have in the program. Um, because that will require your time. So right here, right? Then we go back into explaining. Every time we fall, so we're, I'm going through another training with this kid right now. Um, he's like 20 years old, going to be savage closer. The the thing that we keep falling into though, is that we get too logistical, right? We get way too logistical. So right here, we're falling back into logistics. I'd stay on the husband right here, right? But it all depends on how quickly I can start earning in the program. Okay. Well, um, that's actually from your efforts and commitment. Okay, that's great. Um, that sounds really good. And would he be supportive for you if you want to join now and leave the supermarket job that you have to help in that in that transition, maybe? Um, I'm not sure. I guess I have to talk to him about it. 
but it all depends on how quickly I can start earning. Right. Gotcha. I have to talk to him. Gotcha. I mean, what would you be talking to him about? Oh, I, I just want to make sure this is legitimate. Then it goes back into scam objection again, right? So, so then you have to handle that, right? So, so can we see the difference there? So Sophia asks, until what point do I handle potential objections? Until what point do I handle potential objections like this one if time is short and move on to the next steps? Well, so once again, right? Like we just have to get her like buy-in because once again, this is still like a triage call. But like, if you can get really good at this and fast with this, then this is going to help a ton for closing. So remember how from like minute 130 to like 250, we had a lot of fluff. So if we cut out the fluff, then you can handle this objection for another minute and a half, right? So that's why I like to be kind of just quick into it, just because it's so much more important to handle the objections rather than asking, oh, how's the weather in Australia, right? Or, or just all the other like additional stuff. So I hope that makes sense there. In the program. Okay. Well, um, that's actually from your efforts and commitment that you may have, that you will have in the program, um, because that will require time. Um, in that case, my next question would be, do you see yourself in a long-term commitment as a modern, um, being in the modern CR program? Do you have enough time for you to invest in doing our program? Right here, I, I'd probably stay away from time because at the end of the day, anyone will make time if there's enough pain, right? And they see this as a solution. Right. Because then once again, we get stuck on logistics again. Right. Be part of our program, basically. What is the best way to cut fluff and stay related to them? Um, what is the best way to cut the fluff and stay related to them? Right. So I, I think it's only just like focus on like like the important things. So it's like and, and I feel like sometimes we're adding in additional things. So it's like, hey, I saw you're from Australia. Like, how's that? Great. Yeah. I mean, I've been out there a few times. Like, it's awesome. But um, yeah, I mean, just to just to uh, keep things short and quick. I mean, this, these calls are normally like, you know, 10, 15 minutes. So I just want to hop in, hop right into things. Is that okay? Cool. Done it up. Right. So yeah. So Maruk, yeah, Maruk's correct here. Um, Marut, can you post that in the main chat? Marut says this. So this was from Marut, but Marut just have the agenda. So like, if you feel like you're consistently running over, just like frame it as, yeah, it's like, this is just 10, 15 minute call. Like if you find that that's happening a lot, but also it's just like focusing on what you know is important to move the prospect ahead. Right. If I'm talking with a female prospect, most likely my tonality will be a higher pitch. So I, I match, right? I match their tonality. Um, there's a call with one wonderful girl like a few weeks ago that I had um, matched her tonality, right? And then it's focused on, you know, a few key points that she finds valuable and then go from there, right? Now for Alex, right? Alex mentioned at about minute four. Alex mentioned at minute four to five travel, right? So Karen, if you if you see that a prospect, and this is great if you're on Zoom, if you see a prospect lights up, right? So so for example, my girlfriend's super into yoga, right? So when we talk about yoga, she's super excited about that. So if you're talking to a prospect and they bring up yoga that they're excited about, hammer on that, right? That's what you'd want to build rapport on because that's what matters. But when it's just about like where they live or like, you know, things that you're just kind of adding fluff, like you should be able to tell, right? Does, does that, a, does that make sense? Sweet. Makes sense. Cool. Caitlin. Yes. Yeah. Building rapport with your tone. Yep. Um, yes, I do right now. Have a bit of space on. 
you know, like a couple hours, three to two hours per day, something like that. Yeah, even five to six hours a day, yeah. and then full days, they don't work. Okay, that's good. Um, that's great because we're actually looking for that kind of. Um, yes, I do right now. Have a bit of spare time. You know, like a couple hours, three to two hours per day, something like that. Yeah, even five to six hours a day, yeah. and then full days, they don't work. Okay. So that's good, right? We're we're getting by and that she has the time. That's good. Um, that's great because we're actually looking for that kind of commitment, uh, committed for people to join our community. Um, so tell me more about Alex, Alex about your uh, future plans. So you mentioned that you want to travel, that you want to pay for a future family. Um, so why now? Why would you like to make the, the change now? Um, well, even though I am. That's good, right? Change. Why is it important, right? Yeah, and I just want to have those safety, get safety in place now so I can enjoy my life uh, quicker than most people would when they're older. So I can relax in my late 20s instead of my late 30s. I don't work. Um, well, Christian, so sh sh uh, in this case, Alex does work. She works at the grocery job. But yeah, like if they said they don't work, then yeah, you probably need to properly financially qualify. So if they said they don't work, I'd be like, gotcha, no worries. I mean, like, I guess, did you have a job in the past? Cool. I guess, did you going to save up a lot of money from that? Oh, what does that look like? Uh, I guess, how much did you make there? Cool. Did you get to put a lot of funds aside? Great. Right? And why is that important now for you to enjoy, enjoy life um, now in your 20s? Um, I think it's important to enjoy life at any age. And it's just, um, I've worked it out early on. So I want to achieve that sooner rather than later. So right here though, you, you even see her smiling at this point when we're talking about travel or like the freedom that she'd get. So like earlier, she also does the same thing when we're talking about travel. So like I'd, I'd focus a lot deeper on those questions and getting really to like the desire. Gotcha. I mean, why is that even so important? You know, as a kid growing up, we didn't get to travel a lot, do X, Y, Z, like that. It would be amazing for me to do that. Boom. That's your real pain and the real desire, right? Okay. That's, what, that's good. Um, me too. So that's why I guess you're interested in joining the SDR, modern SDR. Um, may I ask you, how do you think this program is actually going to help you achieve those? I think this is a good tie down, like for whatever like program, like let's say it's like a fitness program. You're like, how do how do you feel like the keto diet would allow you to hit X Y Z goals or get out of X Y Z pain into X Y Z goals? I think that's super helpful. Um, but yeah, I mean that's solid. <laughs> um, well, I'm hoping I can just have a couple extra grand a month that I can put aside. Okay, and what happens if you actually make a change? What happens if you? Um... Good question. What happens if you don't make a change? That's urgency, right? So everything's there, Sophia. Like everything is here. Sometimes it's just a little out of order and we could go deeper, but like overall, really good. Don't enjoy the program and you keep working in, as a takeout, in a takeout in the supermarket. Um, I guess I won't be able to achieve my financial nest as soon, which is a big thing for me. It's really important. I see. And do you have... So you said this way that's like a couple of grants, right? So that would be your financial goals or would you achieve, uh, would, sorry, would you aim for something higher than that? Um, I guess when I'm starting out, I'd be happy with a couple of grants, but of course I always want to improve and grow. Okay. And like a lot of this stuff, we probably could have got like over here. And then at this point, we're already probably booking the demo. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's great. Like this is a lot of like, like today I just wanted to focus on discovery, honestly. Um, but is that helpful? So I hope that video was helpful. If it was, make sure to share with a friend, like, comment, all that stuff. And if you want more insight into our sales training and philosophies on a much more in-depth level, just feel free to tap on the calendar link below and book in a call with one of my head advisors. They'll be able to help you out and best advise you on your journey getting into sales. And if it makes sense, work with us a little bit more closely. Now, once again, if that's not something you're ready for, we also have both a three-day live event coming up soon as well as a $1 course that you can actually get started with sales down below. Links are in the description. And once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.